we could see an increase in water consumption, and we are concerned if we are going to go above the 500 uh, million liter threshold. Officials in Calgary hope that late summer vacations can help offset a late summer heat wave as mandatory water use restrictions continue. We also know that with the good weather people will also leave uh, Calgary and take advantage of uh, are great outdoors. Repairs to the Bears Paw water main are still weeks away from completion after the much maligned feeder line was shut down once again in August when new damage was discovered. So now Calgarians are once again under stage four water restrictions and while they've already been struggling to keep demand under the city's 485 megaliter a day target, a new challenge awaits. Days of 30 degree temperatures are forecast to end the first week of September and as data shows when heat spikes, so does demand. So in addition to counting on some Calgarians fleeing the city on vacation, officials are asking all who wish to water their gardens through this heat wave to do so without turning on their own taps. That's why we continue to provide better access to our non-potable filling stations so that people do have an option to water their lawns and uh, plants and, and trees. Now that threshold that I mentioned isn't just a random number. Those repairs on the Bears Paw line are happening just downstream of the Bears Paw water treatment plant, meaning the Glenmore treatment plant here on the Elbow River is now providing the vast majority of Calgary's treated water. And officials say that at a daily demand of about 500 megaliters, this plant begins to operate at near its maximum capacity. And in recent days, that's already caused problems here at the plant like pump failures. So if operations here at Glenmore were to become compromised or if demand were to continue to exceed 500 megaliters per day, the prospect of Calgary running out of treated water for all of its residents could become a reality.